Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to give you guys my list of the top 10 boxing gloves, so stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here, and today I'm gonna to give you guys my list of top 10 boxing gloves as of January 2020. Now this is a video that I get mostly requested on this channel. This is the highest requested video. Hey Carla, what's your top 10 boxing gloves? What's your top five? What's your favorite boxing glove that you use? And so I decided to put this list together. Um, I'm gonna do another separate list based on budget, but for this list, this is gonna be my top 10 boxing gloves, period. If money wasn't a concern, um, this is just strictly a list of the gloves that I've used, I've had my experiences with in the gym. Um, and what I think are my favorite in terms of the way they feel, the way they perform, if money is not an issue. Now I'm gonna make a list uh, in another video where I'm gonna break down by budget, you know, what are my top gloves for that budget range. But in this video, to keep everything simple, I'm gonna just make my top 10 boxing gloves. I'm gonna give you guys that list. Now, with that being said, this list was actually a lot harder than I thought it would be, mainly because in the last 10 to 15 years, there are so many more companies now that are making quality uh, gear quality products, boxing gloves. You know, back in 10, 15 years ago in the mid 2000s, you really had several main players in the boxing game title, ringside. Obviously you had Reyes, you had Winning, you had Grant. Um, you know, Re Rival came onto the scene as well um, and started coming out with more and more of their gear. Um, but now you have a lot more players in the game. 1v1, you have Fly, um, you have uh, Venom, you have, you know, obviously Rival's a huge one now, Punch Equipment. Top boxer came out from you know from Pakistan. So and then you also have a lot more of the smaller independent uh, companies that came come out of Mexico that may have made gloves for uh, Reyes or even Grant and now have branched off and made their own their own glove line. You know you have No Boxing Love no Life who does uh, the products for Canelo and, and for for uh, for their branding. So there's a lot more companies out there now making a lot more quality gear. So it's really closed the gap in terms. Of, of you know hey winnings up here by themselves and then everybody else is down here you don't really have that big gap anymore everything you know with a lot of the, the gloves now you really close that gap so with that being said let's go ahead and start off with number 10 number 10 is going to be the clitoris uh, training gloves now whether it's lace up or velcro you can get these gloves typically for about 179 dollars uh, reyes has been kind of the long standing benchmark in terms of mexican gloves they use excellent leather. the goat skin type leather that they use is really thick durable you know it's a, it's a mexican style punches gloves that uses latex i know before they use some horse hair in their their fight gloves so it's been known to be more of a punch style glove excellent for feedback um, but the biggest uh, drawback with Reyes gloves a lot of people have found is going to be the comfort of the glove and i know that over the years in my opinion they've improved it to be more ergonomic on your hands but in, like a lot of traditional Mexican style gloves, the hand compartments can be a little bit, a little bit, a little bit rough. You know, you put your hand in there, there's a lot of room in the fingertip compartment. So you really have to put a lot of padding to really kind of fill in the void inside of the hand compartment on Mexican style gloves. And, and Reyes has definitely improved on that. Uh, but they're definitely more of the Mexican puncher style glove. But for $179 uh, and around that price range, to me, they're still um, the benchmark in terms of quality, great stitching great quality leather so you know reyes has been kind of that mainstay uh, with that but again a lot of companies have caught up um, in terms of quality as well as the comfort and the, the feel of the glove when you put them on number nine is going to be the no boxing no life uh, champion hh uh, pro boxing gloves now those are the ones i tried i don't know if you have seen the review i did on those. they were the blue and silver and i was super impressed with those gloves they were fight gloves uh, which were i believe 10 ounces and um, they fit perfectly you put them on your hand they felt fantastic um, I went through the no boxing no life website at the time and it was all in Mexican pesos when I converted it over to US dollars it's about $150 plus you know plus shipping now that obviously changes based on the exchange rate between uh, the US or wherever you're at wherever you're located and the exchange rate with Mexican pesos so just keep that in mind that that rate and the cost of the gloves might go up or down based on the time of the year just the, the currency exchange rate so uh, but mine was about 180 bucks um, out the door um, you know full uh, genuine leather mexican construction great blend of both horse hair and, and, uh, and foam padding and it had excellent feedback great protection looked fantastic 
and just great gloves overall. They use a, like uh, this special liner on the inside that was a lot smoother than the typical canvas liner that you would uh, find in Mexican style gloves. So there was extra features on those no box and no black gloves uh, that I really like. So those come in at number nine. Number eight is going to be top boxer. Now I'm gonna categorize two gloves in the number eight spot, the top boxer win one and the top boxer alien gloves. The aliens are gonna be more kind of like a Grant style, more of a puncher style glove where the win ones are gonna be the Japanese winning inspired gloves, more balanced, more protective. You get not as good as feedback in my opinion as the aliens, but you definitely get more protection and a more balanced feel. Now top boxer, he's been around for many years now. Uh, makes excellent quality product, excellent customer service, um, and the prices can't be beat. When it comes to quality, the pricing, um, if you're including pricing on that, Top Boxer to me is probably the best in terms of pricing the product, giving you free shipping and getting a quality product as far as nice leather, great foam, uh, the, you know, the craftsmanship's on point, uh, and just a very well-balanced glove. So Top Boxer is definitely coming at number eight. Number seven was going to be Russian Boxer. Now this might have been the spot that I would have put Grant Worldwide in, but the reason I pick Russian Boxer in this spot is because I firmly believe they actually use the same manufacturer that Grant does. Um, I actually did a side-by-side -side, uh, in the review video of the Russian Boxer gloves. Shout out to Russian Boxer. And uh, I had my custom pair of black and orange Grants and they were identical in every way possible. The leather, the construction, the liner on the inside, the laces, the stitching, the, the, the way that the gloves were formed, the way that they were designed, where the thumb was at. I mean, everything was identical with the glove. They even smelled exactly the same. So, you know, I firmly believe that my Russian boxer gets their gloves from the same manufacturer as Grant. Um, and I love Grant gloves. They, obviously the pricing is astronomical on some of their gloves. So that's kind of a big drawback for a lot of people. What Grant's is that, you know, either they can't afford it or even if they can't afford it, they still don't want to drop that amount of money on a pair of boxing gloves. Russian boxer, uh, I was able to get anywhere from about $180 on up. It starts at about $180 US dollars. Keep that in mind. Again, you have to convert uh, from, you know, Russian currency to wherever you're at. Uh, but for $180, bucks, um, that's a steal in my opinion. I think Grand Gloves are great. Nice, uh, durable canvas liner. That latex padding they use gives you a great blend of feedback. Uh, as well as protection. And it, you get an excellent feel with the gloves. The hand compartment feels really nice. One thing you do have to keep in mind with the Russian Boxer gloves is that they are larger gloves. So if you do go with some 16 ounces, they are huge gloves. So for me, 12 ounces is about equivalent to a 16 ounce pair of Sabas or Infinitude gloves in terms of sizing. Uh, but coming in at number seven would be Russian Boxer. Coming in at six is going to be Punch Equipment Fuerte Ultra Boxing Gloves. Now, Punch Equipment is a company based out of Australia. I was really interested in trying their products. I was able to uh, get my, my hands on a pair of their Fuerte Ultra Gloves, which are their, again, Japanese winning inspired gloves. And I was super impressed with the gloves, mainly because they were probably the closest thing um, to winning, uh, you know, replicas that I've found so far, uh, mainly because of how broken in they felt. When you put your hand in there, it feels like it's just a nice and broken, you know when you would put on a nice comfortable t-shirt that you've washed a million times, you put it on, it feels like you're wearing nothing. That's essentially what I felt with the, uh, the Punch Equipment Forte Ultras. You put your hand in there, you have full flexibility. The padding is awesome. It's, it's not too dense, it's not too soft, it's right in the middle. Excellent feedback. Um, the quality of the gloves is pretty good, it could be better. That's probably the biggest drawback is gonna be the quality obviously is not gonna be on par with winning or some of the higher end gloves because the gloves are made in Pakistan. Um, but the actual, uh, the, the feel of the gloves um, are premium. They're, they're elite in my opinion. I just love the way they feel, the performance, the feedback on the bag. Um, pricing wise, they're about 169 US dollars starting. Um, and again, conversion rate, keep that in mind, but $169 uh, for the uh, Punch Equipment Ultra Gloves, which I think are, are, are a good price uh, for a glove of that caliber. So number five is going to be the Rival RS1 2.0 uh, sparring gloves. Now I did, recently did a review on those and I honestly didn't know what to expect when I received those gloves. I've never tried the original RS1 so I've, I had no idea what to get with these gloves. Um, they, these are the only um, glove on this list that is going to be considered a microfiber or sort of synthetic leather. Um, but I would, the, the reason I'm putting this glove on that list is because they're extremely comfortable. Um, they're made for sparring but you can use them for bag work as well. Um, and the way that they put your hand into a nice, natural, close fist position is one of the best I've felt so far. Uh, when I was using the gloves, um, I felt like I got a really excellent, satisfying uh, landing feeling. You get excellent crack with the gloves, a great protection. 
Thumb is excellent, finger compartments are excellent. And then you have that wrist lock technology that he uses with the laces where you have the channels that really locks in your wrist to give you the support you need. So that is actually my current, my favorite uh, rival uh, boxing glove are going to be the rival RS1 uh, 2.0. So uh, for number five will be the uh, rival RS ones. Number four, going to be the Venom Hammer boxing gloves. Now I know for some of you guys gonna be like, really, Hammer, you know, Venom? Like I, I hate the way those gloves look, they look terrible, the graphics are ugly, blah, blah, blah. You know, Venom, they just make gloves for beginners and, uh, you know, MMA guys. The hammers are legit. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Now, I was skeptical too when I when I dropped some, you know, hard-earned money for uh, their pro boxing gloves, like their Shields and, the, you know, their 2.0 Giants. But to me, my, the hammers are some of my, some of my favorite gloves. And, and I think Venom has done a, a fantastic job with the kind of foams they use in that glove to give you probably one of the most satisfying feeling gloves I've used so far. Um, excellent hand compartment. Leather is really nice. They, they say they use Argentinian Napa leather. Um, you know, I'm not a leather expert, but the leather feels really nice. Has more of a sh kind of a shrink wrap feel to it. Um, I have the WBC and the black and red versions. Obviously, the design of the glove is to each to their own. Some people hate it. Some people don't mind it. Um, but the performance of the gloves, to me, outweighs the way they look. They just feel fantastic. Good wrist support on there. Um, but the main thing with the hammers is going to be you can go full force with the gloves and don't feel any pain in your knuckles, no pain in your wrist, but you get excellent feedback. Great power transmission. You feel every shot. And to me, they're probably in my top three in terms of just how a glove should feel, especially when using it for bag work or sparring. Uh, the Venom Hammers are definitely up there. So those are going to be my number fours. Number three is going to be the Fly Super Lace Gloves. Now, Fly is a company based out of the UK. They're very popular now. A lot of people compare them to winning up there in terms of status. Um, Fly uses their, their leather that they use, not their Fly X range, but their actual uh, full-on leather. The, the Scottish highs that they use are fantastic. Some of the best I've seen. Very nice and supple. The fly gloves almost remind me of like a really high-end uh, Italian handbag. The, the leather that they use it doesn't feel like Mexican style leather. It doesn't feel like winning. It has its own texture and smell to it. And it's very luxurious. The stitching on the fly gloves were fantastic. Excellent balanced padding. You can use it for everything. Uh, it's a good multi-training glove. So you don't have to just use it for sparring. It's not just a bag glove. You can use it for everything. Um, but to me, the biggest thing with the flies is going to be the comfort. They feel nice and snug, excellent power transmission, but the quality is what really sets it above uh, as far as setting the bar up there with winning and Reyes in terms of quality. So to me, fly is up there. The only drawback I found with my super laces, and I know that some other people have mentioned it too, was my thumb was a little bit short. And I know some people have said that as well with a few of their gloves. Some people haven't had that issue, but... <clears throat> I've definitely heard that the, the, the thumb was short on a couple of gloves, mine included. So when I was landing some shots, I would feel that the, the tip of my thumb would kind of jam into the tip of the glove. So that was just one thing I would say drawback wise with the comfort. The hand compartment feels great. The thumb placement is excellent. It's just that little jamming of the tip, uh, which gave me a little bit of discomfort. So that would be that. And pricing wise, um, they're about 345 uh, British pounds. Converting to US dollars, that's about $450. Again, keep in mind the currency exchange changes all the time. So about 450 bucks. Obviously the gloves are, aren't for the fate of heart. They're, they're definitely expensive, uh, but they're definitely on that level of kind of being like a timepiece. When you, when you get these gloves, you wanna keep them for a long time um, just because the quality of, uh, of them are excellent. They're fantastic gloves. Um, number two is going to be the winning MS500 boxing gloves. Now I know no introduction needed for winning gloves. They've been around. For many moves now, <clears throat> pretty much every single pro boxer, MMA, I mean, any pro level fighter has probably used winning at one point in their career. Um, they're considered the benchmark of boxing gloves. You know, starting anywhere between $350 on up, depending on the color, the sizing, there's a lot of variables when it comes to price, uh, custom colors. But winning is the benchmark because of the attention to detail of the gloves, the quality, the, the kind of leather they use, as well as the foam. Um, they're probably the pioneers of making the first glove that just felt like it was part of your body. Uh, when you put your hand in there, it's excellent feedback and you can use them for everything in the gym. They're not designated as a bag or, or, or strictly a sparring glove. You can use them pretty much for everything in the gym um, and they're just fantastic gloves overall. The big drawback again is going to be pricing, you know, being anywhere from $350 on up. Um, they're definitely more on the expensive end, so uh, keeping that in mind. My, now my number one glove, and this is something I thought about quite a bit, 
and, and um, it was really hard for me to, to choose just because there's so many great gloves in that top five range. But my number one glove is going to be the 1v1 Fight Gear Pro Trainer Elite Boxing Gloves. And the reason for that is because I think they do everything great. They do th everything well, including price. Now I know price was not gonna be a big part of that, but for these gloves, I firmly, well, one, they're made here in the United States. They, the, the level of craftsmanship that goes into them are amazing. Um, the kind of leather that they use is proprietary. It's not like a Pakistan made glove where you're, you're kind of getting the same kind of leather that you would see in other, other, you know, other brands that they use. So you're getting a really nice top, you know, top grain leather glove, full grain leather glove. Um, the construction, the stitching is phenomenal on the gloves. Um, putting your hand in there has a nice uh, liner on the inside with a nice neoprene grip that feels really good. Kind of feels like you're putting your hand in some memory foam. The padding is fantastic. You get a great balance of both feedback and protection. So again, like winning and like fly, you can use the gloves for pretty much anything in the gym. Uh, bag work, sparring, mitt work, you get excellent crack, excellent feedback. The compression that you feel when you land on the bag is very satisfying. Um, and you can get them in any really kind of color you can reach out. To, to Jason over at 1v1 and, and he pretty much does any kind of color you can imagine. Uh, lace up, both lace up and Velcro. I got mine in Velcro, um, but the quality is uh, fantastic. 1v1 also makes the custom Adidas boxing glove line that goes for $400 on up. So you're get, essentially getting the same level of quality product, obviously without the Adidas name, but for, uh, to me, a much cheaper price. The 1v1 gloves are only $290. So they're a sub $300 glove. In my opinion, the quality is right up there with winning and fly. Same with the performance. Um, and they're very rare gloves. I mean, you don't see too many people have them around. So for the pricing that you get, the performance, the quality, the craftsmanship of the glove, I think the PTE uh, Pro Trainer Elite gloves from 1v1 are my number one as of currently here in January 2020. Again, that can change as, as the months go on. I know there's gonna be more and more, more gloves coming out here pretty soon, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, but that's my, currently my top 10 gloves. If you guys have any questions or comments, any critiques, I know there's gonna be several of you guys commenting and, and you guys may or may you know, not agree with my list. You know, we can all agree to disagree. But definitely give me give you your guys' feedback on what you guys think on the, uh, the list I made. Um, again, it took me a while to really come up with this list just because I made a top 10 list and I was like, you know, it doesn't really look really good. I'm gonna kind of move that around. And oh, well that, that's kind of, you know, the performance is not as good as that, but the pricing is better. So there was a lot that went into this list, but um, that's my top 10 list. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.